Hello fellow compatriots and welcome to yet another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at Vass, which is uh, one of Umbra's species. Yes, I made a mock um, of one of the most bizarrest beings that existed in the Bionicle universe, Umbra. This is Vass. So, without any further ado, before we get into articulation and functions, let's figure out how tall this guy actually is. All right, so, uh, he stands to the head. Matter of fact, let's straighten him. Because I know, like, straightening is very important. And yes, I know, wheels. Uh, isn't that crazy? But he's easier to stand than Umbra, if you may have noticed. Okay, so he is nine and three fourths of an inches tall, uh, and the centimeter measurement will be up in the corner. Now, to his horns, however, now looking at his head, um, he is ten and three fourths of an inch tall, and the centimeter measurement will be right over there. All right, so as you can see, he is stable. Now, what's the secret? Because he has only one wheel. And golden rims, by the way, it's because of this spike here. Because of the spike, you can just plant him as long as you have even ground. And you figure out the center of balance, and then bazinga, there you go, he's standing. Um, you can do even more wider spread if you so want to, as long as that spike is utilized. You can do it. So he can stand a lot better than Umbra. Uh, so... Uh, Knee, bend of the knee, right there, only this far. Then again, he has wheels, so, I mean, don't get too crazy about it. I mean, he can almost do the the, the Iron Man kind of knee, go on one knee almost, you know. I don't imagine him being on the full knee because guess what? He is, okay, now I'm actually having difficulty standing him. Umbra species. This was a good idea. This was definitely a good idea. Anyways, I'll stop balancing him. You guys want to see more articulation. So, <laughs> legs go forward about this far, not that much. They go back all the way that much. Then again, he's on wheels, so don't expect to... So, I, I forgive him for the lack of articulation in the legs, because wheels! Um, we, the wheels do all the work. The arms, um, they go all the way across his chest. They can go all the way back. Um, they can go up this far, you know, full rotation and all that good stuff, even though the spikes in the back kind of hinder that. 90 degree bend at the elbow, articulated fingers, and bull joint on the wrist, and that's the same thing on the other side. Even if the arm is built a little bit differently, but you still get that 90 degree bend there. So, yeah, also bull joint at the head. Now, he has a gear function. Um... So the gear function involves a swiping function. Now to get that to work, you actually need to get his arms in like, hey, I'm gonna get you kind of look, right? And then you go back here and you go ahead and move the gear because there's gears that you caress. So it's like Knight's Kingdom in a way, and you can angle the arm back so that you can make him look like as if he's trying to claw someone, uh, if you want him to. So, and that works for both arms, as you can see. And let me sh show you what it looks like at the front. So he def, so you can imagine him speeding and then swiping at people so that's basically what it is you know when he's rolling he could then swipe at people and you can also do both of them at the same time so that in case if he wants to grab someone you can have him grab someone that actually looks cool nice job vass give yourselves a clap of the hands my guy you did a phenomenal job uh, <laughs> which he can clap his hands which is actually pretty cool i just discovered that just now which makes sense you know because look at it this is so awesome he can clap his hands he can clap his hands <laughs> 
Oh, man, I'm reviewing this guy, and now I, I, I discover new things you can do with the toy. Oh, my gosh. You see, guys, doing reviews is fun. All right, so, but now it kind of comes for the question of the day. How tall is he compared to other figures? Uh, well, let's go right into that if I can stand him, which I can. Look at that. So much easier. Here he is compared to good guy, the Chaz of Chats. He will be your husband. Whoop. Here he is compared to bad guy, and he will kill your husband. Whoop. Here he is compared to a Tahunga build. So you got a size comparison compared to a Tahunga build. Here he is compared to a Mata build. So you get to see how tall he is compared to a Mata build. Here he is compared to Kopaka, Master of Ice. So you get a size comparison there. And, of course, here he is, compared to a, a Nika build. Now, he's small. He ain't big. I mean, I don't know how tall Umbra is, but he's not really a Titan. He's about the same size as a Nika build. But it's okay, because he's a juvenile. So he's actually young, a lot younger than Umbra is. As a matter of fact, he was... He came into existence right after the Matoran Civil War. That's my headcanon for this guy. He, you know, he's, he still does not need to eat, drink, or, or sleep, you know, to survive. You know, he can live without doing those things. And which is a, a unique trait of his species. You know, that was a, a thing that Umbra was also able to do, you know, he did not need to eat, he did not need to sleep, and stuff like that. But he's kind of a dum-dum, this guy ain't bright, you know, he may look menacing, but, like, he ain't the brightest. So he's not that smart. Matter of fact, he has the same level of intelligence as Krekka. If you must know. If you really must know. But anyways, I believe that is all for now. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you liked it, why not leave a like? And if you want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe. And if you want to go ahead and follow me on any social media outlets, links will be down in the description below. And if you want to know more about this mask, this is the Mask of Fear. You can find it on Thingiverse. Uh, link in the description. You need to have a 3D printer, though, if you want to go ahead and make it yourself. Anyways, that is all for now. I hope you enjoyed, and like always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys!